Calio is a project to oversee the reuse of the Pyasalmi mine, located in the town of Pyahavi in Finland. The mine is closing in 2019, at which time Calio is supposed to take over for the mine facilities and all the associated infrastructure. Calio will be an operating environment for businesses and an underground research facility. Calio is a joint project by the town of Pyahavi and the University of Ulu. In 2017 the facility joined the Baltic Sea Underground Facilities and Innovation Network. BSUIN, the word Calio is an anglicized version of the Finnish word Calio, Kalio, meaning crystalline bedrock. Topic: <laughs> Operations and facilities. Calio is an umbrella organization for a variety of non-mining activities in and around the mine. Of these, Caliolab oversees scientific research and development. Proposed new activities include a secure underground data center, pumped hydroelectrical energy storage, plant and fungus growing laboratories, breeding sites for insects and fish, and several other types of underground businesses. As of 2018, there are four environmentally controlled laboratories in Calio. Listed top to bottom, they are Lab 1 at 75 meters level, 245 feet depth, occupied by the Emma experiment. Lab 4 at 660 meters, 2165 feet. Lab 3 at 990 meters, 3250 feet. Lab 2 at 1430 meters, 4690 feet, 120 square meters, height approximately 9 meters, partly occupied by C14 experiment. Numerous additional service, storage and maintenance halls exist along the access tunnel. The ambient temperature within the mine depends on the depth but is otherwise constant. At the lab 4 660 meters level it is 15 degrees Celsius 59 degrees Fahrenheit and at lab 2 1430 meters level 28 degrees Celsius 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Currently, 2018, the mine harbors two scientific experiments, C14 liquid scintillator and EMMA, operated by CUPP, University of Ulu and University of Jyvaskyla. Topic: <laughs> Past projects. The laboratory has hosted cosmic ray experiments MUG studying the depth dependency and time dependence of the radiation in 2001 to 2003 and MUD studying the depth dependency of the muon flux from cosmic radiation in 2003 to 2005. In 2017, plant growing experiments were conducted in Lab 4 by Luke, the Natural Resources Institute Finland. The site was previously the prime candidate for the Laguna project, which fell through due to funding issues. Laguna is a proposed very large volume underground neutrino observatory, designed to study, e.g., the excess of matter over antimatter in the universe. Pyasalmi mine would have been at the optimal distance from the CERN particle accelerators, which would have provided the neutrino beams for the experiment. Recently, the mine has opened up for a variety of cultural activities. It has hosted the deepest concert in the world by Agonizer at 1,271 meters, as well as dance performances. The 11 km long spiral shaped main tunnel has also seen several uphill running and cycling competitions. Topic. Access The main level of the mine is at 1,400 meters depth, and is equipped with service and social facilities, e.g., a restaurant and the deepest sauna in the world. Accessing the main level from the surface takes just three minutes using the elevator average speed 8 meters per second, maximum 12 meters per second 39 feet per second, 43 kilometers per hour, or 27 meters per hour. The same descent takes about 30 minutes by car or lorry, along the 11 kilometers long decline access tunnel. Topic. The Pyasalmi Mine 
The overall depth of the Piasalmi mine is 1,450 meters (4,760 feet), making it the deepest base metal mine in Europe. Its main metals are copper and zinc. The mine was opened in 1962 by Outer Kumpu, sold to Inmet Mining in 2002, and obtained by First Quantum Minerals in 2013. Mining activities are projected to end in 2019, but aboveground refinery will continue until 2025. The mine safety has improved significantly over the last decades, and the underground mine has become a testbed for new, often award winning, access control, monitoring, and automation technology. Underground accidents in Piasalmi are very rare, and the last fatality occurred in 1995. Several easily contained on-ground refinery fires have however occurred at the site during the 2000s. In 2012, explosives contaminated with pyrite ore were sent from the Piasalmi mine for destruction at the Fawcett Ammunition Factory in Vitavuri, where after a year in storage, the container started to heat up and smoke. The reason for this potentially dangerous situation was revealed to be careless handling and packaging at the mine. This prompted significant changes in the safety protocols, and since 2013 all hazardous waste is destroyed on site in Piasalmi. <laughs> <laughs> External links Calio website Caliolab website 3D video of the Calio facilities at Sketchfab BSUIN Baltic Sea Underground Facilities and Innovation Network website <laughs>